Mortal Kombat is an iconic franchise. Throughout the years, it has sat in the hearts of many generations, both young and old. And the franchise as successful as Mortal Kombat definitely comes with its ups and downs. Let's take characters for example. There are many characters in the Mortal Kombat franchise that are very good like Scorpion, Liu Kang, Raiden. Fan favorites that make this franchise flourish. Now. With all franchises, there are some bad things and some bad characters. Let's take the worst character in Mortal Kombat history, Su Hao. Now, there are many Mortal Kombat characters in the Mortal Kombat franchise that are forgettable and not very popular in the story or even in their gameplay. But nonetheless, they still have small fan bases. Look at a character like Kai, he's not very popular, nor do you see him very much. But there are some people that really like Kai and wish that he would have a better representation in the franchise. But for some reason, this does not apply to Su Hao. Um, in my personal experience, I have never, ever seen not one person say that Su Hao is their favorite Mortal Kombat character in all of my years of playing Mortal Kombat and knowing about the franchise. It's kind of just weirdly agreed that he is the worst Mortal Kombat character of all time. So today, I would like to spark up my imagination and do a little bit of digging to see why he's the worst character and give you guys my way of rewriting Su Hao. Now before we rewrite Su Hao, first we have to tell you about his original story. Now to sum it up briefly, Su Hao was recruited by Movado to join the Red Dragon. Soon after he was indicted into the Red Dragon and trained with Movado, he was then given a mission to infiltrate the special forces by posing as a Chinese veteran. The reason for the infiltration was to feed the special forces information about the Red Dragon's rival clan, the Black Dragon. This was a two birds with one stone effort in which Su Hao was going to destroy the special forces main headquarters that researches Outworld while also simultaneously manipulating the special forces into destroying the Black Dragon, the rival clan. Su Hao was indeed successful as he destroyed the Outworld Investigation Agency headquarters. This was a major deal for Jax and Sonya because they could no longer traverse realms. After this success, he was then sent by Movado to help the sorcerer Quan Chi defeat Shang Tsung because Shang Tsung was plotting to betray Quan Chi and the Deadly Alliance. But on his way to help, he was met with Jax, infuriated by Su Hao's betrayal. Jax then killed Su Hao, ending his life. The end. <laughs> Now that we got his backstory out of the way, let's talk about some reasons why people hate Su Hao so much. One is his design. Many people don't like Su Hao's design as it looks pretty boring. All he is is a person with a military outfit and a cybernetic red thing on his chest. But, you know, it's kind of boring. Despite his lame appearance, it doesn't help that his lame appearance is also paired with a lame story. His story is not only bland and brief, but it's very similar to Kano's who is already an established character in Mortal Kombat. And getting killed off in the same game that he was introduced in doesn't really help his case any much either. And lastly, tell me some of Su Hao's special moves. Exactly. So that explains his gameplay. Now that we have all of his flaws out of the way and his previous backstory, let's get right into rewriting his story. Su Hao grew up in the slums of China. It was very violent and it was basically a kill or be killed type of area. He was very poor living with his mother and life was very hard for him. Reluctantly, she had no choice but to send Su Hao to live with his father. His father was a well respected soldier in the army, but little did she know that sending him there would make it worse for him. Su Hao was spoiled with all the materialistic things any kid could want. But he also saw much corruption in many things a child shouldn't see, such as murders, killings, and straight up abuse. And as the son of a high ranking warrior, not only did he see violent things, he had to endure violent training. Nonetheless, Su Hao enjoyed his life until one day his father was sent to infiltrate the special forces. Unfortunately, he was quickly caught and executed in America. This made Su Hao furious 
as he had to go back and live with his mother in the grueling conditions that he once endured. Su Hao vowed to avenge his father and regain the luxury life that he once had. To do this, he decided to join the Red Dragon. But the Red Dragon Clan doesn't just accept anybody, he will have to prove his loyalty. To do so, he proved his loyalty to Movado by slaying his mother. He justified this deed in his mind by telling himself that she had suffered long enough anyway. Soon after he joined the Red Dragon Clan, he quickly rose above the ranks by any means necessary, doing whatever he had to do, no matter how cruel or evil. Through these deeds, he not only gained much status and rank in the Red Dragon Clan, but he gained their trust. He finally uncovered the real reason why the clan was called the Red Dragon. They had imprisoned a powerful Red Dragon from Adenia and had been using it to traverse the realms, using its special ability to create portals. And their newest experiment was to create powerful soldiers by using the Red Dragon's blood. They had been attempting to create these hybrid soldiers for many years without success. This is mostly due to their lack of technology. This is why Movado sent Su Hao to infiltrate the Special Forces. He was to infiltrate the Special Forces, find as much technology that could be useful to this experiment as possible, and to destroy their headquarters that allowed them to traverse the realms as the Red Dragon do. Not only that, he was to use the Special Forces to fight off and feed them information about the Black Dragon Clan, the Red Dragon Clan's rivals. This was a very important mission for Su Hao, not only for the Red Dragon Clan, but for himself. Finally, he could finally get the revenge that he always wanted for his father. This mission took several years to complete, as he had to gain the trust of the Special Forces, and he had to rank up. In doing this, he gained much knowledge and information about the Special Forces technology, as well as helping the Red Dragon take care of the Black Dragon through the Special Forces. He also had some influence on Kano betraying the Special Forces and ultimately joining the Red Dragon Clan. After ranking up in the Special Forces enough, he joined Sonya's Special Unit, which included Jax as well. Through his time with them, he learned much about their special equipment and technology. He was so intelligent that he remembered everything that they ever told him and that he ever saw. To this point, he could be able to recreate their technology straight off of memory and even reverse engineer it if he wanted to. But he knew that it was time to complete his mission when he finally found out about the Special Forces newest experiment, a nanobite technology that mixed with antibiotics to be able to heal Special Forces members and American soldiers quickly and swiftly. Su Hao acted quickly. He stole the nanobike technology as well as destroyed and nuked their headquarters, destroying their teleportation devices. Many Special Forces members died in the blast, except for Sonya and Jackson Briggs, as they were off on a special mission at the time. He used a small teleporter that he had created to go back to the Red Dragon Clan's hideout. When he briefed the Red Dragon Clan about his mission, he told them about everything he had saw and done, except for the special experiment with the nanobite technology. After perfecting the nanobite serum that the Special Forces had created, he then volunteered to be the next candidate to take the Red Dragon's blood. Although reluctant to allow him to do it, as he was a valued member of the Red Dragon Clan, they allowed him to do it just because he had finished that mission that was very important to them. So he did the experiment and it came through a success. Su Hao knew that the Red Dragon Clan would attempt to control his newfound power, so he faked his death. He fled to a secret hideout where he would conduct experiments of all the technology that he had seen over the years. Not long after the experiment, Su Hao began to feel the effects of the Red Dragon's blood. It was overpowering the nanobike technology that he had created and was trying to take over his mind and body. He knew he had to act fast. So he created a chest plate to harness the Red Dragon's blood from his bloodstream based off of Kano's eye. This would allow him to partially transform parts of his body or his whole body and keep his sanity. He then perfected this method by perfecting the nanobite technology even further and mixing it with the red dragon's blood. Lu Hao began to train his newfound dragon abilities soon after. He quickly found that his athleticism and strength had increased 1000 fold. He had scales that were stronger than steel itself. 
He could pick them off, regenerate them, and use them as weapons or a shield if he would like. He also had fire breath and could shoot fire from his hands and his mouth. And although he was not strong enough to traverse realms yet, he could at least create small portals for himself. With this new power he'd obtained, he had one final objective. Take over the Red Dragon Clan and eventually destroy America. The country that had killed his father and ruined his life. Now that I have presented his story to you, let's talk about his design. This is how Su Hao should look. He should look more intimidating as well as looking like a formidable opponent. I'd also give him the demeanor of M. Bison, especially when he goes into his hybrid dragon form. And when he turns into a dragon, um, I would also make him look kind of similar to Kaido from One Piece when he turns into a hybrid dragon. So yeah, that's about the best I can do. He doesn't really need that much of a change. As you can see, this design that I have on the screen looks pretty cool for him. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think. And now to finish the video off, let's get into his gameplay and his fatalities. Now Su Hao in his gameplay will be a two part character. His first part, he will start off as a regular soldier as a design that you have seen and he would not have any of his dragon abilities. In this form he will mainly be a grappler character using command grabs and throws and stuff like that. But he will also be given a military knife stance that he can do certain moves out of to get combos and stuff like that. He will have a special move that will allow him to pump his chest. When pumping your chest, you will be pumping dragon blood into you, gaining a buff as well as being closer to turning into your dragon form. Think of it as Jamie from Street Fighter 6. Jamie from Street Fighter 6 gains more special moves as he does more drinks. The more drunk he becomes, the more special moves he gains and the more damage he has access to. Now the downside to pumping the red dragon inside of your body is that it's very unsafe to do raw. You will have a very high recovery after doing this move. So the most optimal way to pump blood into yourself and to gain access to your dragon form would be to do command grabs that end in pump or to be able to use meter that would reduce the recovery rate of the pump special move. Now once you have access to these more damaging combos and more special moves, you will take more damage as Akuma does. Now you will gain access to these special moves. You have an air fireball, a demon flip move as Akuma does, is going to be slightly different of course. You will have access to a flamethrower move as you spit fire from your breath like a flamethrower. Instead of your combat knife stance, you will take scales off your body and use those for the combat knife stance instead, doing more damage and having more moves outside of the stance. You will be able to spin the bar to use your scales as a shield and be able to walk through special moves while taking significant less damage. You will also gain a command grab out of your demon flip stance that will allow you to combo. And your command grabs will have different enders such as stabbing people with your scales or burning them with your flame breath. And just like Shang Tsung, you will be able to revert back to your normal form if you want to, being able to strategically play both sides of the coin. Now here's Su Hao's first fatality. First, he will burn you with his flame breath, cooking you a little bit, then he will put the fire out by blowing it out, then he will call in some of the failed red dragon experiment humanoid dragon members, and they will eat your flesh as he eats your flesh. They will all eat your flesh together as you scream in agony. I hope I just do not get demonetized for this. <laughs> now for the second fatality, let's make it fun. How about you guys put the second fatality in the comment section down below. Alright guys, this is all I have to offer for you guys for my rewriting of Su Hao. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys would change. Do you guys like the way I did Su Hao in Mortal Kombat? How would you do it? Let's have a discussion in the comment section down below. Without further ado, it's Waffles. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you'd like more videos like this, and comment down below another character you would like me to rewrite. It's Waffles, and I'm out. Peace.